I'm not proud of what happened next. I am. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shows that will instantly boost your mood. Most of the boys I dated in college were just for the stories. You must have more stories than O. Henry. <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at the best scripted live action TV series that always make us feel better. Which one of these shows is your go-to mood booster? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Parks and Recreation Feeling down about the gloomy state of things? Allow us to suggest a workplace comedy that will instantly lift your spirits. The Office, for instance, never disappoints. You guys are the reason that I went into the paper business. So, uh, good night, God bless, God bless America, and get home safe. But we have to go with another hilarious mockumentary sitcom, Parks and Recreation. Every time we visit the fictional but endearing town that is Pawnee, through our screens, we feel happy. Every time someone calls and requests a meeting with you, I always schedule it for March 31st. Why? Because I didn't think March 31st existed. Everything from Leslie's unfailing optimism and determination to Ron's hysterical no-nonsense attitude to April's brutal remarks allowing us to forget our troubles for a time. Plus, the show never takes itself too seriously while making the mundane side of government and bureaucracy fun, red tape and all. Just to let you know, uh, I gave the Senior Center project to Donna. Sounds good. Meeting's at 2 o'clock? Yes, conference room C. Okay. I think at some point you and I should probably make out with each other. Yeah, good call. Just grab some waffles, press play, and get ready to have a blast. Number 9. Glee The initial plot of this show is simple. Teens join their school's glee club, which is helmed by a teacher who is eager to help. So does this mean you're staying? It would kill me to see you win nationals without me. From the top. We follow them as they navigate different chapters of life over the years, but while the premise is straightforward, Glee is anything but boring. Big and extra in the most entertaining of ways, it delivers some show-stopping musical numbers while also touching on a slew of serious topics. I'm staying, I'm staying, and you, and you, you're gonna love me. Sure, sometimes it fumbles the ball, but there's a sincerity to the message about following your dreams running through the chaos that makes for an uplifting watch. So you can always count on this musical dramedy to sing you a sad or happy song, depending on what you need that day. Number 8. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend in my soul, I feel a fire Cause I'm heading for the pride of the Inland Empire My life's about to change, oh my gosh A show that features drama, comedy, music and a real humanizing exploration of sexuality and mental health? Sign us up! When we meet Rebecca Bunch, she's a little lost Needless to say, it doesn't take long before we grow incredibly invested in her journey and the songs that help see her through it. She's the crazy ex-girlfriend. That's a sexist term. She's the crazy ex-girlfriend. Can you guys stop singing for just a second? She's so broken inside. The situation's a lot more nuanced than that. But Crazy Ex-Girlfriend isn't just entertaining. The characters are fleshed out and relatable, drawing us in. The same can be said for the musical numbers. They're catchy, to be sure, but they also know how to cut to the core of deeply human experiences. The stigma is worth it if I realize who I'm meant to be armed with my diagnosis. You'll find yourself giggling at the awkward situations, crying at the more serious ones, and above all, feeling better by the end. Number 7. Modern Family And Luke Coffee bought as a non-starter. But I do like the idea of popcorn kernels in the pancake batter so they sell flip. Stop talking! Step away from the children. When you think about sitcoms that strike the perfect balance between humor, relatability, and realism, Modern Family is sure to cross your mind. It's no wonder it's an ideal pick-me-up during rough days. No two people or families on the show are exactly alike, so the stories that are told have the ability to reflect a wider range of experiences. That alone is refreshing, but the top-tier execution and stellar cast elevate the results even more. It's all gravy when you're in the AV. Admit it, doesn't it feel good to break a few rules, take a walk on the wild side? You're welcome. No, you're welcome. I'm the one who set this whole thing up. Let's just say we make a good team. 
That's because they bring those experiences to life in a vivid way that shows anyone watching they're not alone. With 11 seasons worth of good times at our disposal, the better mood is sure to last quite a while. Did you get it? I gave her a hug goodbye, used my sleight of hand, and on the third try... <sighs> I feel so naughty using my magic like that. I love you, baby. Number 6. New Girl I've been there. I've been cheated on before, and it feels like someone dropped an anvil on your heart. Um, but that guy wasn't right for me. It can be really hard to stay positive when you feel like everything around you is crumbling. But don't worry, New Girl can be optimistic for you and ease some of that burden. Chances are you'll find yourself nodding excitedly, proclaiming, same, as you watch Jess, Nick, Cece, Schmidt, Winston, Coach, and company work through everyday things. I need everyone to shut up and answer one simple question. You sons of <laughs> ready to party! <laughs> From romance to friendship to professional struggles, there are a few realities the sitcom doesn't delve into, always with a funny, sharp, clever, and unconventional hand. Before you know it, you'll be totally immersed in the world of this zany ensemble show and will find yourself looking on the bright side in a way that feels effortless. Oh, what? Yeah, interesting choices. It's a great hat. Can I have it? Let's get rid of that. Number 5. Gilmore Girls Wherever this dramedy leads, we will follow. At its core, it's about mother-daughter duo Lorelai and Rory, their dreams and their relationships with each other and those around them. Look at me. I can't meet anybody who does anything in there. Mom! No, I look like that chick from the Dukes of Hazard. This is my first day. You are not getting out of going in there with me, period. The series is sweet, quotable, smart, and heartwarming. More than that, it makes us believe everything will be okay, even when it's hard, because it leads with love. Therein lies its magic. When the perfect circumstances arise, we will use our favorite new catchphrase. Oi, with the poodles already. I'm telling you, it's knocking what you're talking about, Willis, right out of first place. Laura, life, for God's sake, be quiet. The town of Stars Hollow, for its part, is a fictional place, but the amount of comfort it brings us is very real. In other words, the show is like the television version of a warm embrace. That as much as I wish we'd met when I was older and, and more mature, I know that if I hadn't had you with me when I did, I wouldn't be the person I am today. That you taught me what safe feels like. So the next time you're feeling lonely and so cold, all you have to do is queue up Gilmore Girls. It always works for us. Number four, The Golden Girls. I don't want anybody asking any embarrassing questions. <laughs> I'm back. So, did you and Artie play Find the Cannoli? Oh. <laughs> Are you a Blanche, a Rose, a Dorothy, or a Sophia? Maybe there's someone in particular you identify with, or maybe you're a mix of a few different characters. But no matter your answer, one thing most of us probably have in common is how much joy seeing the women in action and eating cheesecake brings us. You know what would go so good on this cheesecake is those chocolate sprinkles. We finished those an hour ago. Hey, we could crush some Oreos on top. We ran out of those two hours ago. <laughs> The fact that we find ourselves doubled over with laughter several times per episode is a big part of that. The way the sitcom can go between silly and serious while always feeling thoughtful is definitely another. At the end of the day, the world doesn't seem as overwhelming in the Golden Girls' presence, and we thank them for being our friends. Now you two could be celebrity lookalikes. Oh, Blanche, how do you really think so? Well, absolutely. So which one's Cheech and which one's Char? Number three, Shit's Creek. You know the trope, an uber-rich family loses almost everything and gets a major reality check. For the Roses, that reality check comes in the form of Schitt's Creek, a modest town they own. Yes, I purchased the town. How else could I get the deed? You could have photoshopped the and deed. And saved the money. Like, why, save would the I, money. why would I photoshop a deed? The joke was owning the okay, town. Stop. They may be grossed out at first, but gradually they become part of the community. If watching them learn about themselves through this process isn't enough to cheer you up, the many bold personalities on display definitely will. Someone keeps eating my yogurt. <gasps> what kind of yogurt? I was saving that for after my run, David. Oh my god, I guess I was saving it for during your run then. Oh, you're like a big dirty raccoon, David. Moira's posh nature, Johnny's pragmatic panic, David's sarcasm, and Alexis's wild stories delight at every turn. And that's saying nothing of the other quirky characters, who always make us feel welcome. There's never a dull moment if this group is around, which means it's basically impossible to stay cranky in their presence. Let's do it. I'm a Lamborghini. 
I'm a Hollywood star. I'm a little bit tipsy when I drive my car. Number two, Ted Lasso. Has life thrown you curveballs? Do you feel like a fish out of water? Are you looking for a reminder that humanity is good? If you answered yes to any of those questions, you need Ted Lasso. Regretfully they tell us, but firmly they compel us to say goodbye to you. Every person on the show is impeccably cast, and their characters in turn become like our confidants. When Rebecca and Keeley or the Diamond Dogs give each other advice, for instance, we feel like they're guiding us too. Grow up and get over it. The Diamond Dogs have struck again. <laughs> we probably don't have to tell you that life is less scary with that kind of support. Come for the dramedy soccer, or okay, football, but stay for the inspiring, cozy energy that can help heal any ailing heart. And the biscuits. Definitely also stay for the biscuits. Call biscuits with the boss. That really isn't necessary. Okay, well, mark this down as the first time we disagree then. Actually, no, second time. Uh, tea is horrible. Absolute garbage water. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Schmigadoon. Stories that will motivate you to tackle your own battles. Good place. The humor and fresh take on morality and the afterlife are sure to make you smile. You know what, bro? Do your worst. We figured it out once, we can do it again. Because you know what, Michael? You're basic. Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie and Co. can cheer anyone up. Uncle Wendell show? I think I watched that when I was still in diapers. So you're still watching it? <clears throat> Full House. We have full hearts watching this family. How I Met Your Mother. This roller coaster of a journey is also a hopeful one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Friends Pivot! 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 Some shows are more than just shows. They provide an escape, hug us in our darkest hours, and become like home in their own unique way. Friends fits that bill to a T. Rachel, Ross, Monica, Chandler, Joey, and Phoebe are just figuring life out like the rest of us. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> hey! Hey! Welcome to the real world. It sucks. You're gonna love it. <laughs> We see ourselves in them, and laughing and crying alongside them is nothing short of cathartic. When it feels like we're stuck in second gear, when it hasn't been our day, our week, or month, or even our year, we turn to this gang. No matter how dire things seem, we know they, the Purple Apartment and Central Park, will be there to put a smile on our faces. Oh, okay, but this can't be good for the baby. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.